y'all welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome to my channel my name is ivy and i have another grocery haul for you today but before we can get to the grocery haul uh i have a challenge for myself so i literally have it is 4 46 right now so i have 45 minutes technically but honestly more like 40 minutes um to go and get my entire grocery list and get gone from walmart so get my stuff and check out and get my stuff loaded in my car and get back to the school by 5 30 to pick up my kids from ball practice so sorry for the light and the shadows um so i'm challenging myself to do this i did not get an order placed in time i was sick yesterday um, i'm trying to get back on a tuesday grocery pickup and a thursday grocery haul upload um so i was sick yesterday didn't get my order placed forgot to place it during my lunch break today and so now I have to run into the store and get my entire week's worth of groceries in a hurry and we're out of everything. And so let's see if I can do it. Um, get this done in 30 minutes. Um, I smell like gasoline because I just went and got gas and the pump literally dripped on my foot. So that's all I smell right now is gasoline. So like you needed to know that, but hey, that's me. Fun facts all the way around. Um, where's my purse? So let's go in the store, see if I can get this whole list and out and done in now less than 40 minutes because I've been talking to y'all, so let's go. groceries in the car get in the car dead car will not start so I try and call Scotty he is I don't know where he is <laughs> he's not where he's answering his phone I asked the people next to me which I knew who they were they didn't know who I was I, we hosted their daughter's wedding last year at our camp anyway those of you that are just here for grocery hauls are like this lady's crazy you would be right um this is what my weekly vlogs are like stay tuned okay moving on they did not have jumper cables so I'm like oh my goodness Kyle Kyle's my cousin he works in town it's 522 when I call him I'm like oh do you still happen to be in town he's like I do I'm like my car is dead at Walmart so I don't know 10 minutes probably and he was there less than 10 minutes because okay yeah I think he got there at 531 so it would have been like nine minutes he was there got me on the road I'm on the road <laughs> I'm not shutting my car off. I text the kids and said, find each other, wait for me, I'll be there ASAP. Thankfully, I'm only like seven minutes from the school, but now that I had to get out of the parking lot and all that jazz, it's um, 537. So, <laughs> ah, that's just how it goes. I made it in time, dadgummit. I met my goal and my car let me down. So, gonna go get my kids, get home, and I will have a grocery haul for y'all. Strap in, cause it's gonna be a good one. <laughs> okay, I am home. Holy moly, what an adventure that afternoon was. Man, I was so proud of myself that I got it all done in time and then my ding dang car. Uh, apparently my battery is like six years old and apparently that's old for a battery. Cool, didn't know that. Uh, so Scotty and Kyle are figuring that out. But thanks Kyle, I don't think you watch my channel, but 
Thanks for coming to my rescue. Kyle has come to our rescue multiple times. He is the best cousin in the world. Um, his sisters are pretty great too. But anyhow, okay, I digress. Moving on. Um, here it all is. Let's dive in, show you what I picked up this week. Um, I was out of a ton of stuff. Y'all, if you didn't see the receipt from earlier, $304. Should I vomit now or later? Because, oh my gosh. Um, but also... There's a lot of really high priced items on this table, like milk alone is 12 bucks, chicken, $13, batteries, $20, um, laundry detergent. Well, you're fixing to see it all. You can probably pick out the prices of the high priced items. Something else was really expensive too. Candy for the youth group. Uh, anyways, you want me to just tell you everything before I show you or I'll just show you. Okay, so here it all is as a whole. Again, you can probably just look and pick out the high priced items. They're all over the place, but it is what it is. We had to have it and let's dive in. Okay, got two gallons of whole Highland milk. Y'all, I decided to wait until Tuesday. We are like out of milk. I think we have a dribble left of milk. Um, so we, we stretched it like a whole extra weekend because I've been picking up on Fridays lately. Um, so this was a definite need this week because we are now completely out. Um, I have been, if you have not been watching, go back and binge my last several videos. I have been trying to use up what's in my fridge, pantry, and freezer. I've done a fantastic job, but now I'm out of a lot of stuff. I didn't even replenish some of the stuff I ran out of, um, but chicken is one of those things and I was out. And um, Kim Wadsworth just went on an extreme rant about this, but everything just seems smaller. And I mentioned this a few weeks ago, but I swear the chicken packets used to be like this. Well, some grandma somewhere, please don't be offended. I'm a grandma um, that hoards the chicken styrofoam things. Please pull one out and confirm for me that they used to be much bigger than they are today. Somebody in the comments, back me up on this. These are like, I don't think I ever could palm a chicken container. So it's, it's shrinkflation. I think that's what they're calling it because the price hasn't shrunk just the packaging. Um, $13.90 for this. I mentioned it before, but I try and get like six packs. It's less about the price or the weight for me. It's more about the quantity um, because I package them in like ones and twos um, because one and two, depending on what meal we're having, will feed my family. So um, that's how I tend to make sure to pick out my chicken. Okay, moving on. Um, bananas is the only fruit I got this week. I don't know why we just haven't been going through fruit as fast except for bananas. So I just decided to skip it. We still have lettuce and tomatoes. Don't even have many vegetables left. I still have a little broccoli left. Um, so this is the only fresh item on my table, sadly. Um, no judgment. It's ball season. We're hardly going to be home coming in the next several weeks. We're going to have games at least four nights a week, I'm pretty sure. Um, so we'll eat what we can and all the fresh stuff will die <laughs> if we have too much of it in our house. Um, bread, you know, it's kind of funny. The things that you try and order online um, and they're never in stock, you go inside, they're in stock. My honey wheat was in stock, of course, this week. Um, and then Scotty's oat nut also back in stock this week. I just wonder if they don't put it on the app for some reason every other week. I don't know what the deal is. Um, I didn't try to place an order online, by the way. And then we're going to have hamburgers one night. And so I got these wheat buns. They're just so soft. And I really, really like them. Um, and they're just nice and big. So we'll have some um, hamburgers coming up soon, hopefully. Um, and then Scotty requested yogurt again. So I got some Chobani vanilla Greek yogurt mixed berry and some key lime. I forgot granola, but I do spy two partial packages in, in there. So hopefully it's enough to get him through this week and I can get granola next week. I was in a hurry, y'all. Remember, I was I was in a hurry. I actually forgot to get, I was going to get some strawberries too. They weren't on my list. I just totally blinked them out um, because I like them in my applesauce and I forgot. Um, okay. And then Colby Jack cheese. I don't normally buy shredded cheese, but Riley requested this a while back for a quick after school snack to make like nachos and stuff. So, um, we ran out a little while back. So I just, I was there by the cheese, getting other cheeses and picked that up for her. Man, I am skipping all over the place. Speaking of cheese, I got a sharp cheddar. I kind of go back and forth between extra sharp and sharp. Didn't eat, I literally just grabbed one. I was in such a hurry today. So that's the one we ended up with this week because I prefer to shred our cheese than buy shredded. I think it just stays fresher, longer, and all that jazz. 
Uh, and then cream cheese. Man, I had a surplus of this throughout the holidays. I finally used it all up, making all that buffalo chicken dip. Um, but I was going to make some sopapilla cheesecake the other day, and I didn't have one. So um, now I have it back in stock. Okay, um, Scotty needed batteries for trail cameras. And these dang things were 20 bucks. Sam's Club, you can get double this, 48 for $23. So highly recommend going to Sam's Club. I probably should have just waited because I probably will go this weekend, but it is what it is. Say it with me. Um, so I had to pick those up. Okay, again, I'm jumping all around, so sorry. Hopefully I don't miss anything. Um, picked up some pizzas. That is what we are having for dinner tonight just because, holy moly, it is that kind of night. Um, I splurged, if you will. These were like $6 a piece. Um, but, I mean, to feed the four of us, that's 12 bucks for a dinner. That's not bad. Um, but I did the Thin Crust Philly Cheese Steak Pizza. I don't, we, I don't think we've ever had either of these, but we've had these Sam's Choice Specialties before, and they're all super duper good. Um, and then the Thin Crust Bacon Lovers Pizza. So I think those are going to both be delicious. Can't wait to eat them. I'm actually pretty hungry. Um, two packs of the chimichangas. We were just, I think we're out. We maybe have one or two left. I don't remember. Those are a pure staple in our house. I don't know how the family's not sick of them, but they eat those. If there is ever a time we need a quick meal or anything you want night, that's what most of them are consuming. Um, French fries to go with the hamburgers that we will be having at some point in our lives. Um, and then waffles, Riley requested those. And I normally buy the, the, great value, but they were out of stock. So I grabbed the Ego um, blueberry waffles, the 24 count. Tropical trail mix. Y'all, while I'm in school, I sit at my desk and eat candy and that's really bad. So I decided to get this because it has dried papayas, mangoes, pineapples. What else is in here? Banana chips, raisins, craisins. Um, it's so good and it's very sweet. I didn't check the sugars or anything like that. 16 grams of sugars. Oh, eight grams of added sugars. Well, you know, who knows? That's probably not that much better than just eating candy, but it's got to be right. It's fruit and nuts. So I'm going to convince myself that it is and decide to munch on this instead of candy and try and be a little healthier because I don't need that freshman 15, you guys. I've, I'm like 40 years old. I'm way older than that. So um, yeah, but I get it. I get it. Totally get it now. When you are stuck studying all the time, you just sit there and snack. Those freshmen, that's why they put that on. That's why it is a total thing. It's real life. Um, okay, and then pecans because I want to make some banana nut bread in my effort to clean out my freezer. I have a lot of frozen bananas that need to be consumed. So banana nut bread is going to happen very soon, but I was out of pecans. I was literally going to make it this weekend because um, we had a fellowship dinner Sunday at church. was going to make this Sunday night, Saturday night, um, but was out of pecans. So... Anyhow, uh, sour cream. I'm going to have baked potatoes one night and needed some sour cream. I think I skipped butter. We were totally out of butter. I think we have like a little fraction of a stick of butter that Scotty has been nursing, <laughs> making his eggs over the last couple of days. Um, so we were out of the margarine and out of stick butter. So got the Country Crock Original, um, nice big tub. And then I like this two pack of the sweet cream salted butter. Um, I don't know why I just prefer salted butter and then cheese singles. We have been out of these for so long. I don't know how Scotty has been eating so many burritos without cheese slices, but he's, he's managed. I think he was using the Velveeta that we had. I mean, and that's fine because it needs used up too. Uh, so I bought the big pack. I bought that last time and it actually took us quite a while to get through. So it was a good investment and glad to have it back as will everyone else be. Uh, bacon, just used up our bacon the other night. We had some BLTs, um, and I want to fry up a couple of pieces of bacon when we have baked potatoes to crumble on top of them. Um, Oreos, because I love my children, and I knew they would be excited, and obviously they are, because they've already gotten into them. They've eaten, holy cow, you guys have devoured these. They have eaten, you have had two? They're, Aiden, how many have you had? Scotty, did you eat any of these? No. Okay, it's not as bad as it felt like from the outside. Okay, Aiden had four, Riley had two. It felt a lot worse. Okay, it's just that little center part. Um, but anyhow, I knew they would be excited, and they were. I wish I would have been filming. Aiden said, are those Oreos for us? And he was super happy. So 
Yay, mom win right there. Okay, and then I don't think Riley knows, but those Doritos are for us as well. So you're welcome, Riley. <laughs> she said, thank you. I don't think you could hear her. Um, and then coffee, because always have to have coffee in this house. Um, 48 count of the Great Value House Blend. Um, and then these next several items are for youth group. So I bought a pack of candy. This was almost $13. Ridiculous. Um, these are for Sunday school donuts. Um, I like to buy a couple packs at a time. I was going to get honey buns too, but they were out. So I just got two packs of donuts. Um, we just go through them really fast, but also I don't always buy them every week. And so it just depends if I'm going to have them in some Sundays we don't have breakfast. Am I making sense? Probably not. And then some sweet treats um, in addition to candy for Wednesday night. So I got these strawberry Swiss rolls, which I bet those are delicious. And then some old grandma treats, some oatmeal cream pie, and a box of chips. So those are all things. They're not, whoa, I about fell over. Um, those are all for the youth group and that little horseshoe there. Back up top. Ugh, for some reason, they have been out of stock forever on the huge bags of dog food. So I just grabbed a small one. I think we still have some left, so that'll last at least the week. It'll be fine. Um, and then they did not have my normal brand of laundry detergent in the squeezy bottle, you know, the, the dispenser bottle. Um, so I just grabbed this small one, so I'll just refill my current squeezy bottle, dispenser bottle, um, and then borax. So Airbnb season has started actually today. Our first guests of the season have checked in. So <sighs> about to amp up my laundry usage, um, all the laundry. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then, oh, plus it's ball season. Like I said, four games a week, um, uniform season. Okay. And then needed some feminine hygiene products the always radiant, um, size ones for Riley. And then the always infinity size two for me. So these are our preferred ones and then finished quantum, um, dishwasher pods. We completely ran out. Aiden had to use the liquid stuff that I've had just hoarding it back in the back of my, um, cabinet forever and ever. And then I decided to get a different deodorant. Um, Either I did not put it on this morning or it's just done working. And I actually do remember putting it on because Riley walked in the bathroom when we were getting dressed because we, um, or when I was getting ready, I was already dressed. Um, but she has the same matching sweater on as me and we did not plan it. Anyhow, so I remember putting deodorant on and it was a warm day and I can hardly tell. But Riley has been using this and she is such an active kid, um, but she uses the Fiji kind. Y'all, listen. I am not a lavender person, but I smelt this and it smells divine. So I'm going to give it a try. If I don't like it, we'll see if Riley wants it. Um, but I just want to switch it up and it says this is aluminum free and, um, I don't know. Just wanted to give it a try. Hopefully it works. If not, I'll go back to my old faithful secret, but is it old faithful? Cause I don't know if it worked today or not. Okay. Good grief. That is the haul. Thank y'all so much for coming along with me for that and for my trip to Walmart. Um, that was actually pretty fun. I never film in the store and that was literally not really me filming in the store. It was propped up against my purse, you know, in between the little baby buggy seat, you know. Um, but it was kind of fun. It was just a very different thing. I hope y'all enjoyed that little addition. Um, it's a little stressful trying to speed shop, but um, I got it done and I only forgot granola and strawberries. And again, strawberries wasn't on my list. So I'm pretty proud of that. So anyhow, thank you all for coming along with me this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did make sure you subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to stick around and check out my other content. I do weekly vlogs, um, and grocery hauls, occasional cook with me's, um, some Disney content thrown in there. And above all, we have a lot of fun around here. So if you enjoy fun vlogs, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and join my YouTube family. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Thank you for coming along today. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.